The life of St. Alexius is shrouded in legend, but for centuries he has been honored for his love of the poor and his humility. He is also known as Alexis of Edessa and is the patron saint of Alexians, beggars, belt makers, nurses, pilgrims, and travelers. Saint Alexius, or Alexis, born in Rome in the 4th century, was the only son of parents preeminent among the Roman nobles both for their virtue and their great wealth. They were particularly noted for their almsgiving. Three tables were prepared every day for all who came for assistance, pilgrims, the poor, and the sick. six years of age, the child began to read the Holy Scripture. When he was a young man, he began to imitate his parents. He fasted strictly, distributed alms, and beneath his fine clothing, he secretly wore a hair shirt. Early on, there burned within him the desire to leave the world and serve God. His parents, however, had arranged for Alexis to marry a beautiful and virtuous bride. On his wedding night, Alexis gave her his ring and his belt, which were very valuable, and said, Keep these things, beloved and may the Lord be with us until His grace provides us with something better. Secretly leaving his home, he boarded a ship sailing for Mesopotamia. Arriving in the city of Edessa, Alexis sold everything that he had distributed the money to the poor, and began to live near a church. The saint used a portion of the alms he received to buy bread and water, and he distributed the rest to the aged and infirmed. The parents sought the missing Alexis everywhere, but without success. The servants sent by Euphemianus also arrived in Edessa. They searched for him everywhere, but they did not recognize the beggar sitting at the portico as their master. His body was withered by fasting. His comeliness vanished. His stature diminished. They gave him an alms, not recognizing him, and Alexis said, Whereupon the man of God rejoicing said, I thank you, Lord, who have called me and granted that I should receive for your name's sake an alms from my own slaves. Deign to fulfill in me the work you have begun. Christian Family TV is made possible by your generosity. Because of your donation today, we were able to create more than 200-plus wonderful stories on saints, stories of faith, and many other interesting videos to teach our kids. Yes, you are making a difference. We could not do what we do without you. We want to remind you again to take a Patreon subscription. It only costs $2 to start with or make a one-time donation starting at $5. This will help us continue making these videos. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May He smile on you and be gracious to you. Thank you, and God bless you. Saint Alexis dwelt in Edessa for 17 years. Once, the Mother of God spoke to the sacristan of the church where the saint lived. Lead into my church that man of God, worthy of the kingdom of heaven. 
The sacristan began to search for such a man, but was not able to find him for a long time. Then he prayed to the Most Holy Theotokos, beseeching her to clear up his confusion. Again, the Holy Virgin proclaimed that the man of God was the beggar who sat in the church portico. The sacristan found Alexis and brought him into the church. Alexis then secretly boarded a ship bound for Sicilia, intending to visit the church of St. Paul in Tarsus. But God ordained otherwise. A storm took the ship far to the west, and it reached the coast of Italy. From there, Alexis made his way to the Aventine Hill, where his parents lived. He met his father, Euphemia, who did not recognize him, an ill-clothed, sickly beggar. His father, being the kind person he was, gave him employment, allotting him a room under the stairs as his quarters. For 17 years, he thus lived unknown in his father's house, bearing the ill treatment of the other servants in patience and in silence. After years of hard work and inconspicuous humility, Alexis died. A voice was heard by all in attendance at the Pope's Mass, saying, Seek the man of God. He will pray for Rome, and the Lord will be favorable to it. He will die Friday. These words resounded throughout the city and guided the people to Euphemian's palace. They found Alexis lying dead holding a scroll. His face shone like the face of an angel. Before his death, a voice asked Alexis to write who he was, about his life and his purpose in a scroll. The Pope read aloud what was written on the parchment of the saint, and everywhere in Rome, there was a single cry of admiration, impossible to describe. Alexis also asked them to forgive him for the pain he had caused them in his letter. He was granted a saint's burial, his body placed in St. Peter's Basilica, and many centuries later brought to the church of St. Boniface on the Aventine Hill. O oh God, who gladdens us by the annual solemnity of blessed Alexius, your confessor, mercifully grant that we who celebrate his heavenly birthday may also imitate his example. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We want to remind you again to take a Patreon subscription. It only costs $2 to start with or make a one-time donation starting at $5. This will help us continue making these videos.